Alrighty guys, you're probably wondering first off, why are you on a video camera right now? Well, I'm going to do a Sony Vegas tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be for voice-overing a video as well as changing the pitch. In other words, I'm going to show you how I do the Felix voice. Let's do this. The reason why I got to use a camera is because I need to use my microphone here to um, record the voice. Because I'm going to do everything live and show you guys how it's done. So, without further ado, let's get Fraps going. Alrighty, Fraps is on. Perfect. First thing we need to do is drag our video into the timeline. So we're going to do that now. So there's the, the video. Now, anybody probably all of you out there, subscribe to the vlog. Um, basically, you're going to see this clip in the vlog. That's what I'm editing this for. But I figured I'm gonna, if I'm going to edit it, I might as well show you how I do this. So basically, it starts off. I'll show you here. Here's the raw footage. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here's the raw footage. Oh, hey, Felix. And then it's blank. Thanks, dick. And then it's blank. Freaking cat gives me attitude all the time. What a jackass. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a Felix voice right there and right there. But in order to do that, first we need to right click down here and insert audio track. Boom. Now we have another audio track. And then we need to cue it up to where we're going to start. This button right here is arm for record. You click on that. It's going to ask you a directory. Who cares? You can uh, click on OK. And now you'll notice that the little meter here is bouncing around as I talk. It can actually hear me. There's a button down here, record. Now the moment you hit this, the timeline is going to start going through and it's going to be recording. You see where I'm getting at here? So this is what we're going to do. Right now it has me saying, hey Felix, I'm going to record Felix's voice. Hey asshole. So now we got, uh, we might as well, we're going to chop that because we don't need it all. And now we got this. I'm going to turn off arm for record. Hey asshole. But that's my voice. That's not right. Right here is your event effects. This is what you use to make all of your effects for your video or audio. When you click on this, it brings up a menu or a list of all the effects you have to choose from, plus extras you can download later on for your videos. The one we want today is called Pitch Shift. So you double click it, it adds it up here to the ribbon, and you can add as many of these things as you want. Uh, distortion, chorus, auto-tune, yeah, auto-tune. Um, that's the actual uh, real auto-tune, not some knockoff. Volume, whatever you want. So we'll add the pitch shift. Now, I kind of sort of maybe did cheat a little bit with this. I actually have a pre-saved Felix filter. I have a pre-saved Mr. Airsoft Ponage filter for when I do the voice and an Oreo filter for when I have him talk. So I choose Felix. Boom. Done. Now we end up with, I'll close this out of the way, now we end up with this. Oh, hey Felix. Hey asshole. Thanks, dick. We need to do another recording though. Now Felix has got to say something back. So, arm for record. Hit the, uh, hit the record function. We'll cue it here. You're welcome, cock. You're welcome, cock. Okay, so now we'll take it off arm for record, trim it up, get rid of that, move it back, maybe trim it a bit more, move it back, because I want to jump cut this out, jump cut that out, bring it back. Once again, events effects, pitch shift, okay. Now, if you don't have one preset, it's not hard to make your own presets in this program. You go up here to untitled, call it whatever you want. Right now it just says untitled, but you call it whatever you want. You set your thing, your pitch, to whatever you want. And it tells you down here, musical equivalent, up fifth, uh, transposition ratio, whatever. And then you can actually, um, I'm not sure what, oh, okay. That's for more precise, I guess. I never play with this one. And then you can change your accuracy, which I've never played with. I've never played with that, but I have. I do use this preserved duration. If you notice on the Felix filter, let's bring it up. I have it set to AO9 speech 3 equals fast, and it does work. If you don't have preserved duration on, it's really going to sound awkward. So you, you kind of want to turn that on if you just want to up the pitch without upping the speed because if you increase the speed you increase the, or increase the pitch you increase the speed and you don't really want to do that you just want to make it sound more whinier right but um okay so we got the felix filter on there we're good to go and this is the final product oh hey felix hey asshole thanks dick you're welcome cock freaking cat gives me attitude all the time i'm gonna jack just like that. Doesn't get any simpler. So now you guys know how I make Felix talk. So if you guys have animals out there and you want to make them talk too, by all means have at her. 
and hopefully this tutorial will help you out with making some fun videos for YouTube because after all YouTube's all about having fun right so if you have any comments about this method go ahead and leave them in the comment section because uh, I'm pretty sure I can answer your questions and uh, yeah guys take care Thank <laughs> you.